<laughs> so I present well, this. You know what? If a man y'all tell says me, to me, I want my feet rubbed, they might as well go cheat because I ain't touching her feet. Well, y'all tell me I'll what, what you think because I'm, I'm finna throw something at you. Are you ready for it? Okay. So if we look at history and and we go back and, and even biblically, um, where is it that we were taught that we had to be with one, one person? One person. Thank you. That's my whole point. Monogamy has never been. Is it, monogamy well, something we were we were taught? We were taught. We were taught. Or so, is it the way something is supposed to be? So men, I'm glad men you have always been able to have more than one, one woman. So Period. I'm glad you brought that up because I used to always say this, and people used to laugh at me. But I was joking, honestly. So don't don't take me literally. Although take her seriously. <laughs> you know what? It might work though. But don't take me literally. But I used to say this all the time, and I was joking. I believe that no one should get married. No, there should not be any marriages. And everybody should live in this one little bubble and just do whatever they want with anyone else. Because ultimately, that's really what happens anyway. Yeah, the problem is is when kids come and then you're trying to figure out who's going to pay for them. Exactly. <laughs> that's, that's the issue. But literally, I used to say this to my friends all the time. And they used to laugh at me. They're like, Christine, you are crazy. But ultimately, I think it, we should do that. Everybody needs I mean, to just I get, nice you know, a marriage... Little, you build. You build a family. You build a legacy. You, you know you agree with me. You know it. Oh, no. Not not true because she believes in marriage. I believe in marriage too. She believes in marriage. I I, I, I want to be married, so I right. believe in marriage. You I know. I just I just you know I also I believe you know I under I understand the premise behind polygamy. Right. I do too. I I, I understand do too. it. And the thing is, and I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna speak for myself because I I am married. I'm married to my second husband. Um, and and to me, I think at some point with in relationships, like what I want and what I need, like we're good the yin and yang. I think you know what I'm saying. Like he knows I'm not a cuddle person. He's not either. We good. You know what I'm saying? He don't care about me doing what I needed. If I want to go on girls trips or whatever, he don't trip. No We're early good. morning text messages. Yeah, we don't have all that mushy, mushy junk. Like, he understands me. You know what I'm saying? He don't put me in a box and think that I'm different or I'm weird. I, I, we don't think we're different or weird. We don't think we're different don't. or weird. We just we pull love up the umbrella. Sister. They put me in a box. Hide the shade. But we will never put baby in the box. <laughs> never. <laughs> never. But... I'm going to be honest, like my first husband, I was married for 20 plus years. That was my high school sweetheart. Mm -hmm. He's the father of my children. I'm going to be honest, I did not divorce him because of cheating. And he cheated. Mm -hmm. He was a cheater. I but I didn't divorce agree. him because of that. I didn't know him. Yeah, but I, I didn't divorce him because he cheated. I divorced him for other reasons. Mm -hmm. Cheating I can deal with. I can deal with that. And, and a lot of women say, well... That's weird. Again, I think different. I'm out of the box and all that. But cheating, I can deal with. We can deal with that. We can get over this. We can deal with that. The other things that we got divorced was other reasons. But I divorced him because cheating. But how many So how did times? you deal with cheating? Th that's my question. Huh? How did you deal with it? So if you, if you don't divorce for cheating, if you're okay with cheating, then, I mean, how do you deal with it? First of all, I'm not a very jealous person. Okay. But second but that, of all, you don't have to be a jealous person to but be second frustrated of all, about someone continuously cheating. I'm gonna be honest with you, and and this is and he and I have discussed this, and I'm not I'm speaking for myself, mm -hmm. nobody else. In my marriage, I know what part I played to have him out in them streets. I know, and I can admit it. Mm -hmm. You see, what I'm saying it, not saying it was okay for him to say, you know what, she doing this, so I'm gonna go. You know what I'm saying? But I know what part I played. I knew how I was, and I knew that my husband was talking to me, and he was saying things, and I wasn't hearing it. He wasn't hearing. You see it. what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you know, it, it was other issues that that had him go out there and be out there like that. But that's why I say, you know, what we were going through. I I didn't divorce him for cheap. I really didn't. And and how I dealt with it, it just it just. I'm gonna be honest. There was times that girls called my phone, women called my house. You know what I'm saying? And girl, I I make you feel bad. Don't call my house. Don't call my house because one girl was like, "Oh, well, he did this, and did he tell you he did this, and blah 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 blah." And you know what I told her? Just keep sucking dick so I don't have to. And I hung up on her. So what are you doing? Like, what you calling my phone for? What? Right, right. You see what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, keep having sex. That means I can save my body. Where are your body?
somebody else. Like, you're not I'm, tired. You ain't got to be tired. Forget her. Right. I, you know, <laughs> and I think well, a lot of the times, you know, people sometimes cheat because they do become complacent in relation, in their marriage. Mm -hmm. You know, you've had kids. You, you know, you've done everything, especially if you married young. You know, and you outgrow, and I won't say you outgrow each other, but your, what you thought that you had that was the same, you finally realized that uh, maybe it's a little different mm -hmm. than what you originally thought. Right. Um, and at that point is when you start wondering, okay, well, you know, is it worth walking away from, you know, this relationship that you've had for 20 plus years or 10 plus years? Or maybe I'll just go out and, you know, test the waters over here why I still have this over here. And then the problem comes though, because we talked about this yesterday. We did. Is that we're always talking. You know, <laughs> when you step out, you might find that person over here that, oh my God, ah, she she's pulling me this way, or he's pulling me this way, but I'm not ready to move all the way over that way because I still have this over here. Well, I'm I'm gonna I'm throw something something that I came up with after our conversation. <laughs> oh. um, Which here's was a my very thing. Long here's my thing about the cheating. Um, I I don't have an issue. Like cheating is one thing. It's the cheating and allowing the side piece to believe that they're going to be the next wife. Mm -hmm. I have an issue with side pieces becoming the next wife and. The reason why is because... But you don't have an issue with them getting married again as long as it's not the side piece. Right. You know I don't have a, Like, if we divorce... If I walk away... Mm -hmm. Like, if I walk away and you go get married, you know, whatever. But you better but not marry I have an issue. Piece. I have an issue with, with then men... Then you shouldn't have left. With men... You, I have a, well, that's, my, <laughs> that's my point. I have an issue with... Okay, so I'm, I'm cheating uh -huh. and I have this, this side piece over here and, and I'm being pulled and I'm thinking like, oh, yeah, this is better than that. Well, at the that end of 80, 20. at the end of the day, though, that side piece isn't gonna be like that when you put that ring on her finger, because then she becomes the wife, and you start having to deal with things with her mm -hmm. and responsibilities and conversations that you weren't having with her. Um, now I'm gonna pull out a movie, um, <laughs> Fences. You ever you ever see Fences? I did see Fences. Okay, I in Fences, fences. Um, he cheats on his wife, mm -hmm. and she finds out after the the side chick gets pregnant mm -hmm. and um when he's talking to her he he's telling her like i'm never gonna i was never gonna leave you but i just needed some peace i needed some some relief mm -hmm. and so when you think about it in that terms i, I be honest with those negotiations because don't get me <laughs> twisted i think i think in some situations side chicks are winning the ones that know their place they're winning because they're getting what they want out of it. Um, but I don't think that... I, I think that the, the side piece definition has changed. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, it was, I want to destroy your home because I want what you have. And then they get married and then she realizes, dang, you really aren't that great as a husband. Or, you know, I'm starting to see them flaws that you don't see if you're a side piece. If you're a side piece, you don't get the work sucked and now I got to come home and, and take care of kids. I got to come home and, and deal with what the kids didn't do, deal with what, you know, my wife hasn't done, deal with what my husband hasn't done, you know, what bills we got to pay, what finances we're having to do. That's not what you do. When you're with your side piece, you chill. Okay, so here's... Unless you're a good side piece and he paying bills at your house too. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. <laughs> it's not stressing, but it's I not got, a stress. I got to get back. Because there's not a discussion. Right, but I need to get back to are the I mean, are, are y'all discussing it? We discussed what? that you pay bills here too. <laughs> you know, Allison, the, uh, the bills, the money is important. Money is important. But yes. I want to get back to again. My husband wins will enough, tell you enough because grant you, it depends the on husband, money, the husband, <laughs> the husband's got a side piece because things may not be going on at home. There, there's always, a, there's always. Don't get me wrong. There's always. Even though I said people cheat because they want to cheat, they cheat because they want to cheat because they know they can. But there's always some type of underlining reason. I don't necessarily think it's because they're mentally missing something. I think, like you said, it might be something that they feel that they're internal. not getting that, from that home. their spouse may not know. I don't think it's internal. I think it's because they're missing something at home that they want and they're just not getting it. 
and because they're spoiled, they're gonna go out and find it someplace else. And that's a woman and a man. No, no matter who it is. No, because you're she spoiled, spoiled. Because you're spoiled, yeah, spoiled. you wanna throw a temper tantrum, you're not getting your way at home. Now I'm gonna go find someone else that's going to get it. Hey, I'm spoiled, so I throw temper tantrums. So we know. Okay, and so I'm, I'm spoiled and I don't throw temper tantrums. I throw temper tantrums. So here's the thing. I'm not spoiled. When I was told today that I'm selfish though. Ooh. We'll explain that. Yeah, hold that off camera. That's different. That's, that's, a, a, that's so again, you guys keep throwing me off. Okay. So <laughs> need a sip. again. I, <laughs> Someone's gone. I need some chocolate. No. You need some chocolate. Need some chocolate. Everybody needs chocolate. <laughs> Okay, so the because they're not getting it at home because of whatever reason, there's an underlining issue, you're, you're throwing a temper tantrum, you're spoiled. When is enough, enough for that woman or man to say, you know what, okay already. I understand that you're, you want something and you're not getting it, but what still gives you the right to continue to go out and do what you're doing over and over and over and over and over again? At what point... Do you put your foot down and say, okay, enough already? Either if you're not happy with what you got at home and you're not happy because I'm not supplying you exactly what you want, then leave. Maybe he wants both. Selfish. That's not spoiled. selfish. I'll say greedy. Greedy and spoiled. But maybe he wants what she got and what you got. Okay, so again, we're back to what he or she wants. Because it's not about what I want. It, it's not about what I want. It's about what she or he. Well, why not suggest an open marriage? What do you hey, think about? Well, because open I don't. Marriages? I don't think every. I don't think every woman is fit for open marriages. Okay. Because when you think about cheating, I mean, some women they're devastated when they find out. I mean, they're devastated because they, they take it personal. They take it. They're devastated. I, I mean, I will use I'll go back to my favorite Beyonce. Her lemonade album. Just if you if you listen she to She wasn't devastated. But if you listen, <laughs> she, I'm, I'm not saying she was. She is so bitter right now. I'm not saying that Beyonce was or wasn't. But if you she listen to her was. songs, if that you she's listen making to her money songs, off of, she was devastated. The songs were devastating. She could have been devastated. Okay, guys, you're absolutely right. So, you know, again, <laughs> we can agree to we disagree can agree all the to time, disagree, but I want to throw in our new twist yes, this to is our, our show. Yes, our second yes, part yes. of the show. I definitely want to do that. This is new, guys. It's we exciting. The satin pillow pillowcase. Whoops. <laughs> so, what's going on with this satin pillowcase? I'm so excited. Well, hmm. we have asked our wonderful fans to send us letters um, that we will read openly at the end of our show. And then you get to get your own personal advice from the three of us. Yes. Your, our personal, our, your, your own personal thoughts, you know, about what's going on in your life. So what we are asking, and we, we have people who've already been doing it, but what we're asking you guys is to send us a letter. Yeah. Okay. And, and we will put it in the relationship, pillowcase. sex, intimacy, intimacy, whatever it is that um, you feel something that, that you need. see in the news that you want us to talk yeah, about. Yeah. Because you know we good about you, giving our we're opinions. We're good about giving you our opinion. <laughs> oh, Although yeah. they may be very different, so you get a widespread of, 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 yeah. of opinion. <laughs> yeah, you'll get a widespread, but I love giving my opinion. I love it because <laughs> I, I tend it. to always think this I'm is right. my favorite part of the show. Yes, because Spoiled. I think because I can give you my opinion. Spoiled. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take it. She has no yep. choice. But, <laughs> so, if you want to send us a letter, you can email it to us. And you can email it to pillowtalk.uncensored at gmail.com. Or get on the gram. Or go, exactly. And, and DM us. Yeah. True. But, True. we will put your letter in our nice little satin pillowcase. Yes. And we will pull a letter out every week. Show every, show every show and read it and you get our lovely advice <laughs> yes our opinions our opinions I we love opinions. it mm -hmm. so i'm going to reach into 